poco avrà inizio la celebrazione della Santa Messa. Per conservare un clima di raccoglimento e di preghiera, siamo invitati ad accogliere l'ingresso della processione del Santo Padre, evitando gli applausi. Jesus Christus, and welcome to this live broadcast of the Christmas Mass, presided over by Pope Francis in St. Peter's Basilica here in Rome. On behalf of Vatican News, I'd like to welcome all of you joining us for this liturgy from around the world. Welcome to all of you joining us through the various Vatican News channels as well as those joining us through our various partner stations, including Catholic TV, Catholic Faith Network, Shalom World Television Networks in the USA, EWTN TV, Shalom TV India, Salt and Light TV in Canada, as well as from India at Madrashan TV and Luminous Radio. Welcome one and all. My name is Christopher Wells. And this morning I'm joined by Ben Sinclair, a seminarian of the Diocese of Hexham and Newcastle in the UK. Together we'll be providing the English language translation and commentary for this morning's liturgy. Good morning, Ben. Good morning, Christopher. The Chrism Mass, uh, which began, the liturgy began a few minutes ago with mid-morning prayer, which was prayed in the Basilica by those present. Uh, and now we will have the Mass itself. The Christmas Mass takes its name from the blessings of the oils that will be used throughout the different dioceses in the sacraments. Each diocese uh, at a Christmas Mass blesses the oil of the sick and the oil of catechumens and consecrates the sacred chrism. And the Chrism Mass is a liturgy which the bishop can celebrate with his presbyterist, Bishop Fran uh, Pope Francis doing so as the Bishop of Rome. And this liturgy aims at manifesting the communion that exists between the priests and their bishop, especially through the renewal of their priestly promises. And in ideal circumstances, all of the priests of the diocese would be able to participate in this liturgy, although sometimes this is not always possible. And the Chrism Mass is normally celebrated at the cathedral on the morning of Holy Thursday. However, um, in more recent years, dioceses have often selected to um, have the Chrism Mass at other times throughout Holy Week when it's more convenient, especially in the larger dioceses. And that's especially to allow the priests of the diocese to uh, take part in the liturgies. Uh, often during Holy Week, priests are uh, of necessity in their parishes. And as we begin the sacred liturgy, the priests and Bishops are processing in to the Basilica, and in a moment we'll see our Holy Father, Pope Francis. And this is the first time for a number of years due to the coronavirus pandemic that the Chrism Mass has taken place with a full congregation of pilgrims and worshippers of the Catholic faith as well as the priests, bishops and cardinals of the Diocese of Rome. Um, this is because uh, last year there was only a limited number of people due to the, cr uh, the distancing requirements of the coronavirus and the year before um, it was not possible to have the Chrism Mass. So. It's a relief that um, we're now 
able to do so in more normal circumstances. Sing the Holy Father reverence the altar and receive the thurible and whilst he is doing so we can hear the Vatican scholar singing the entrance antiphon which is taken from the book of the apocalypse chapter 1 verse 6 you have made as a kingdom priests for our God in which as the response in between the Psalm 131 
penitential act. Amen. Amen. Miserere nostri 